what is up guys welcome back to the channel we are back with another new deck today we are playing Sivir Tristana and I gotta say this deck has been it's been fire for me I made it just yesterday was trying to just do some brewing whatever made a bunch of different decks tried a bunch of different stuff managed to fall all the way down to zero LP from that came up with this spicy brew and it's been nothing but up since then um we had a pretty fire recording session. I played a ton of games and was just honestly on an absolute tear. So normally I like to do like around three games per video, but I was just running hot. So I was like, might as well just throw them all in here. So this could be a little bit of a longer video today, but I think it really just shows the power of the deck across a wide array of matchups. So hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Keep in tune with the channel i'd really appreciate that but we're gonna go ahead and jump into a deck tech all right guys so here is the deck we're running full set tristana and sivir protoporo you know just all of the multi-region fire followers such as protoporo loping telescope bomber twins tenor of terror and poro sled as a couple copies because that's just a big body that puts in some work and it has enough synergy that i felt like it is its part in the deck Three copies of Bandle City Mare, so you can just swarm, take advantage of your units and play them out for cheap, generate cards, very strong. Three copies of Pokey Stick and Buster Shot as our kind of removal. Two copies of Mini Morph as well, because there are so many different things that Mini Morph is hitting in the meta. And if we're Bandle City, we might as well take advantage of that powerful card. We run three copies of Shell Game and Absolver. Shell Game, very good, you know, make something like Tristana elusive obviously Sivir elusive is very strong especially when she's leveled up you can do the whole classic combo of like ghost Ionia where you just make your whole board elusive and they can't commit any blockers super strong absolver as well making Tristana with overwhelm any of our other units with overwhelm is very strong Sivir granting full board again very good Absolver also very good in this deck because Tristana is super easy to level and with the Swarm as well, you're able to level Sivir relatively quickly because you're just able to go for so many big attacks and just do it again and impact feeds into it. It's a pretty nice synergy, I will say. Again, this deck has been absolutely insane for me, really. I'm excited to see how it ends up in the future and how these um, how this deck you know finds its place into the metagame. But with that being said, we're going to go ahead and jump into the games. Appreciate everybody sticking with the video. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. I think you can just keep the Treasure Seeker. I could keep Tenor of Terror. I mean, we get a created card from Treasure Seeker. But yeah, so getting something like Mare is probably better. Mare normally just gets removed, but the creation and him just like... Making our hand go further, definitely important. So we probably just bank on two, open attack, mayor on three, this into this to like activate it. Bank spell mana. Yeah, and not even counting on, on this being alive. It doesn't really change the game plan at all, but like there's there's no world where that happens. Take more tenors for sure. Interesting. It lived, but I mean, we can't take advantage of it unless. Yeah, I could just go with the sled here, I guess. <laughs> Not bad. Feeling that activate this. We'll just get another Waking Sands down. Not another, but the first Waking Sands down. One, Sivir level up, definitely important. And then two, just getting this so we don't have to worry about it in the future. He lets us get five, that's pretty big. 
And I'm probably waiting to buster shot this once I have like everything else online. That is good. Get it just traded this, because we're just gonna trade down with a 2-1, so like he's getting like a ton of value with that play. Mini morph important on the revenant for sure. He's probably gonna play revenant plus spinning axe. When I'm summoned, created darkness. Cause zero and deals two to all enemies. That is so weird. I almost want to take it. <laughs> that sounds cracked. I think I shouldn't though. I'm gonna take it. Fuck it. You know, you only live once, right? <laughs> It'll be a cool turn eight shenanigans type of play. Yeah, so we trade on his board pretty hard here. this play the other treasure seeker probably go with the tenor punish some development you can't even like well you can discard obviously to get this but it's got to be like rummage or something definitely this because if he goes for like removal right now i can like play another one And I think we got enough value off of Mare at this point that we could attack with him. And if he opts for like blocking this over impact unit or something, that's probably good. If he has second Caitlyn or something, it's got to go here. Interesting. I mean, that makes sense, obviously, but... Cool that we got more damage in, for sure. Because we could maybe just close out with, like, the shell game or something. I think I'll just play that and go wide. Take Tribeam. Oh shit. That's scary. Scary six drop for sure.
this does kill everything but yeah this is definitely the way to do it and I can force a trade onto the Farron get guaranteed two damage these are a problem but he only has enough mana for one next round So we might be able to bring this home, actually. Sivir definitely looking important with uh with the shell game. So I think I open with something like telescope where I could still keep Buster Shot open. And we'll wait to play this Sivir. Silver looking pretty helpful. Yeah, so it should be just easy buster shot, silver attack. Probably don't even need the shell game straight up. And the fact that he didn't play the decimate, it's like he's got no pressure going. He'd have to like thermo to even open up a chance to kill this. Thermo. This way we could do like double elusive attack with Sivir. And if he's able to stop this right now, like does Thermo or something weird. Shell game should be good. I could individually <laughs> shell game them if it ever came to it also. Alright, we got him. That spell shield on Sivir, always clutch for sure. I took a little extra precaution just in case. Alright, Thresh Gnosis, haven't seen this in a minute. Actually, I mean, Seabass is and if you guys aren't familiar with him. I've been trying to make this come back. I think I'm gonna look for some units, some early game units. Yeah, that's much better. And we got the tenor back. Definitely a fan of. We'll go for the impact on turn one. Plus just getting the multi-region combos going off. Honestly, thinking about it, it might have been a treasure seeker there. I'm gonna play this because I like it more of a blocker. We just open here. Damage. That's kind of crazy. Have to have 14 off of that. I think Aloof definitely going to be good in this matchup. Enables the Tenor of Terror as well. So Thresh was his top end there. So definitely don't mind getting rid of it. Block with this. I could play like Sled and Waking Sands next round, maybe. Uh, Treasure Seeker as a blocker. A little annoying. Is this... Stops the draw of a champ. I think that's definitely valuable. Nothing's I think I just slammed Sivir. I can set up Mare and maybe do some stuff with that later. Business as usual. 
I feel like I might as well get this in. I mean, getting his Thresh to 1 seems not that bad, and yeah. Him trading off makes sense. We have mini morphs to deal with the Thresh and, like, Gnosis. That's interesting. Go for more loops. The telescope for zero. Furious Fae Folk, I think, is the vibe of these units. Oh yeah, this thing's literally five. Hmm. Guess we just open for now. Value we get off of this. Leveled up Sivir. You miss out on the discounts on these guys, but. It's fine. Tristana going in a minute, too. He's loving the head on dying, bro. Gotta say. I mean, if he has Atro, I wouldn't mind, like, discarding that, right? Shell game definitely... Yep, he did have Atro. Game plan with that. I think the impact unit actually does more for us here. With Shell Game, we can make the whole board elusive with Spell Shield too. Which I think if he doesn't do anything now, um, it's almost impossible to counter. Like he has to pop the Spell Shield. Yeah, he should just lose here. 100%. GG. Gotta love shell game combos. Found you guys, that card is slept on. I don't know why people don't play it. Give you. Uh, these seem like decent keeps. We get blown up by Avalanche, obviously. So we just gotta be cautious with that, but good curve, multi region followers, doing all the good stuff. Stones is pretty interesting. I don't know how concerned of his like top end I am, like things like Rekindler. I think it's just another telescope. Have 
have the resources to level Tristana pretty easy. Play the created card, play a tenor, and it's just leveled straight up. The two health stat line kind of sucks, so I think we just go with Messenger. If we're going to do that, we want to at least draw off of it, get the value. Being so greedy. But he kind of can be. Treat. Funny because it was very obvious, but I felt like we still just kind of needed to do that. Take the six. <clears throat> so I can Buster Shot the Egg Nivea, potentially. If he wants to like open attack or anything like that, he just straight up plays a catalyst. It's kind of crazy. Get the mayor down. See if we could get some tenors. I'm sure your speech will cheer us on regardless. Like he needs this as a blocker, like very literally. <laughs> Something like second Anivia would be annoying. For like the freeze. Because he could just block this, freeze. It'll be pretty fine. I'm gonna play another one. You can like ruinate. Let's play another tenor maybe, but if it's not that, we're punishing pretty hard. It's a withering miss, so that's fine. I think we literally just play out the other one. Or I could buff both of these, even. Still holding up Harsh Winds. Problematic. So I think I'm just doing the go wide strategy. He hasn't played like an Avalanche this whole time, which means. It's not the case. Very much expecting this harsh winds, but this is so much damage. I protect this place. Brace yourself. We'll take that down to three. Absolver in hand. We have a Buster shot if we like want to kill an egg. And he didn't do anything to our board. Come on in. Yeah, we want to kill that if he has other Anivias to like disable his other harsh winds. That's fine. None of the units still living.
I'm trying to think about how bad my like development would get punished. We could beat a ruination actually. So I'm just gonna develop this. Another double impact out. So he had the ruination. This is GG because we could absolve her the waking sands. Kill him pretty easy. He needs to block though, so I guess the right play for him would have been to not block. But I don't think there's a timeline where this guy does that. He get pretty spooked. Yeah, so that was good. Kind of just force out a ruination there and you have to punish for it. it doesn't matter. Easy game. Oh boy, Michael. Alright, first time playing him this season, I think. I like keeping a lot of this. I don't think we keep the shell game. What's up, brother? On the ping city. So, the creation from these two, enabling the tenor, definitely seemed good. Him not getting the proc on one. It's pretty valuable. I don't know exactly how scared of GP we are, though, anyways. I think a Luke is good in this matchup. Even if we can't get it down till later. Like, our hand's a little clunky, for sure. Um, we definitely hope our mayor sticks for that reason. This is so awkward. I think we just take a kingpin, because we got to curve into something. You can get a ton of damage here. I still think it's, like, worth... Interesting. So no GP, anything like that. Mayor for sure, especially if he has like make it rain, makes sense, or TF. Drop the tenor. Drop the kingpen too. Kingpen. I mean, he sucks against lecturing Yordle though. It's the problem. I could use an Absolver, save him though, for value. I think that's good. Baiting whether or not to keep this back. There's the Pokey Stick, okay. I think I should have done that earlier before I got so much value off of it. As long as I'm trading, I think it's fine. So smart enough to be spooked here. A lot of damage building towards Sivir. We'll kill this. Jumps to 17, much better. Yeah, just depending on what he plays, if he goes big. Goes for the red card. Sled just kind of kills his attack, straight up. Get rain. I think I still do just block this. Going to 7 seems a lot better. Especially when he's like a double up gamer, right? And I might need to be cautious of keeping literally the Absolver mana. Just so I can keep the double up away. Oh, the puff caps, really? 
have that as an option. Tristana. I could even do... I'll, I'll open with Tristana. See what he plays. If he taps below the double up. I can play the tenor. He does. Yeah, this is great. Charmed, I'm sure. You pay first. I'm not finished. Fifty two out of thirty, that's crazy. <laughs> It's actually fucked up. Buster shots, not doing that much. I mean, I think this is just easy block, right? Double pokey. Interesting. So we're just <laughs> we're just dead. Assuming that means he's got the one more damage. Or he's confident he'll find it. Yeah, blockers. Okay. I don't even know why I played them. It's not like it was necessary. Alright, but going wide, make his make it rain bad. Now we just see what happens. Oh, okay. Alright, we got him. Easy game, easy money. Easy Mike. Oh, shoot. No, the Shen. Alright. <laughs> I was close. That was for sure way scarier than I wanted it to be. All right, darkness. Let's uh keep Oro. It's this because we, you know, sure we can enable it. John Champ's normally a good sign. I'll take it. Pokey stick, pretty good. Cycle. I don't know if there's great targets in this matchup for it. It's probably gonna end up going face randomly at some point. I'll take it. I mean, it combos with like Buster Shot or something to kill Viger or Senna. Obviously don't want to play this here. I think I'd rather just bank mana for now. Tenors are active, so I could just play them on four and it's fine. Interesting call. Minus one power on this, make it a one three. Knows we have mare, so he's gonna respect it, right? Funny. Honestly, I think I'm gonna play one of my Tristanas here, and buffing both of these will be pretty good. I mean, we knew it was going down there, but... I think the value on the buffs is still good. And we forced out like a darkness play as well. Trade down his blockers, not bad. Sivir slowly getting there. Slowly but surely. Still knows we have this, so making him respect that. Pretty important. Um... I'm like debating whether or not to like drop a sivir or something. I'm just gonna generate the card off of this. I think it's still good. This requires my like, I don't need the discounts, right? 
Zero mana protoporo? Is that the vibe here? Rambunctious fool! Interesting. I think we go with level Tristana. It doesn't die to the darkness. Darkness is three mana. We can play aloof if he doesn't go for it. So got some different options. Honestly, the shell game. That's a big attack. And then saving the Absolver for Sivir is going to be nasty. Okay, so he taps his mana, and I think that's just GG. We play Sivir, we shell game, full board is going to be looking nasty. No way. Business as usual. have some fun dealing with that all right <laughs> i respect the attempt but we had our bases covered pretty nice there Sivir auction this deck you know a little scary but we'll do what we can i think i'm gonna lose these two try to find a champ or something but i'll keep my guaranteed early game we're gonna play treasure seeker first because we will want to play this for zero mana when we play the mayor, so makes most sense right now. Let me just get telescope down. We'll go for the poro, so we can just have like a very wide turn. Taking the seven mana unit seems a little funny, but not doing all of that. This is so silly. Make a meal of them. Little guy's about to put in some work. We got like leveled Tristana whenever we find her. Literally leveled. Watch your head. Man, this is some aggro right here. Deal with that, bro. No closer. Quit struggling. Now this is in Pokey Stick range as well. I think maybe considering a shape stone or if he can afford to take the damage. It's a trap. See though, he plays something like Sivir, just the fact that that'll like tap his mana for the round will be good for us. They have absolvers, Nothing which it's just waiting to be found. are gonna be nice. Again, if at any point we find a champion, we're just like looking so good anyways. Play this for two. Probably play the Waking Sands, I'm not really sure. Like he has no plays where he just goes really wide, so I think we just go wider than him. Play the Protoporo, make it as hard for him to like respond. And each of these having impact for sure is going to be huge. I'll, like actually have to block both. Look at that one. 
Oh, he taps, so. We just take our free win here, hit an Absolver, call it a day. Easy money. Easy money. Never mind, I said I, said I was a little spooked of that deck, but <laughs> never mind. 